My name is Christina Dominguez Eshelman, and I'm the farm director with La Semilla Food Center. Okay. So La Semilla is working to foster a sustainable and self-reliant food system in the Paso de Muerte region. And one of the main ways that we are working to do that is to establish this youth farm. So you're at La Semilla Youth Farm, and our plans are to increase production in the coming months. Um, this was our first season in production. And so we're planning on ramping up production and increasing healthy food access in the community and in the region. And the solar panel would help to power our most critical piece of infrastructure here at the farm, the irrigation well, as well as um, a greenhouse we're gonna be putting in and then cold storage that we need for, uh, for all the crops we'll be harvesting. Um, my name's Priscilla Garcia and I'm part of the, the Raices de Tra Tradicion here at La Semilla. The reason I believe the solar panels um, would benefit our youth farm is to help with production, um, help us run our pumps on cleaner energy, and also help um, run, our, run our greenhouse and run our freezer. My name is Luis Parga. Um, I work, uh, I'm a volunteer for La Semilla. The solar panels would be good for us because, like for the wells, it would save en energy. Like we wouldn't be using that much energy. Um, and because we want to make our field bigger too. So, like, it would save us more energy and... Hey, um, my name is Meralda Chavez, and I'm with La Semilla. And what I have learned here um, is to grow, um, plant, um, bring healthy food to my family. Um, I've, everything I've learned, I've taught my little sisters, and they're excited. And they do that at school since um, they have school gardening at their schools. And I think why, why we should get the solar panel is because um, since we're a non-profiting organization, it will help us a lot. Like if we decide to do a greenhouse here, um, it would help us run it and it help us run the pump also. And it'll just lower the cost of like the the pumping and like the greenhouse and everything. And I think that would be awesome if we got. So La Semilla's farm site is located in Anthony, and we're couched in between really uh, heavily populated urban areas of Las Cruces and El Paso. But we're also surrounded by other rural communities, and we really want this to be a destination spot where people come and learn about sustainable food production and they're also exposed to a number of um, technologies that we can be using and that would include uh, a PV uh, solar system.